Mountain Farmer Cop here. So I just wanted to go quick and do a quick video about the uh, gameplay review or the GamesCon gameplay trailer thing that they did revealing the new uh, EU map. So I have it up here. I recorded it when I watched it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just watch through it. And I might pause it at some things to talk about a few things because I'm super curious about some things, but it was super cool. So and actually, I think I will turn the volume maybe up a little bit just so it's in the background. I don't want it to be super loud, but at the same time, it'd be nice to have something. Maybe I'll, I don't know. We'll see. All right, so it's going. I was super pumped. There's a couple. One thing that I was super excited about that I think is not that exciting, maybe, but I was pretty pumped about it. Like, look at this. So this is pretty. This is awesome. Just look at the scenery on that. And we know now it's a, Fran, it's a French map. It's a, uh, I'm going to say it wrong, Hot Bayeron. Yep, I can't say it. H-A-U-T-B-E-Y-E-L-E-R-O-N. Anyhow. We'll turn the volume up just a touch. Oh yeah, so very cool. The detail on this, you got the Massey, you got the Kloss, the John Deere Niner X, big old plow on the back of it. Planters, all this stuff is very cool. We see a lot about what's gonna come in the new game and all this good stuff, but it gets better. Whoa, whoa. What is this? Well, we know what that is, sorry, but what? Is there gonna be wildlife that runs around? So we know we have birds. I bet it'll be similar to the birds in the sense that they're just there and they'll run off when you get close, but that's awesome. If there's deer in there or something like that, like that's super cool that they've they've managed to do that. Um, but yeah, let's, let's keep going. Okay, that thing's pretty cool. Look at the railroad crossing there. Cool train, so I mean, we already knew trains are gonna be there. There's nothing really super pumped here. They're doing some forestry stuff. Forestry people are happy. I don't do a ton of forestry, I do some, but Anyhow, that's going on. Oh, they're spraying the orchard. I love it. Love to see that the little fence there. I love that. We've seen a lot of this stuff before, but it's still cool to see it again. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff on here. Okay, continue on. Wait until I lose my mind. Okay, they're they're harvesting grapes. Cool, cool deal. We've seen all this before. That looks cool. It's cool to see a little bit more of it working though in action. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. This thing. This thing right here. This thing. I am pumped. Okay, and I'll tell you why. Well, we'll see here in a second. Okay, whoa, look at this. Okay, just take a second here and look at the rocks on the field down here. And this thing is pick, picking the rocks up. Look at this. Are you kidding me? So I have a question. I have a couple questions about this. Um, are you gonna have to like every so, like you know how you lime a field every three harvests, for example? In order maybe to not, like, is there going to be some sort of gameplay aspect to this where it's like, okay, to not damage your equipment more or to get a better yield, you have to pick up the rocks every six harvests or so. I don't know, something like that. Because as you plow and cultivate a field more and in general, kind of rocks will start to turn up and stuff like that. Or when you make a new field, do you just have to do that just to get it cleared off in order to use it? Like, I'm super curious about this. So is this going to be something you can play with rocks turned on or off like you can lime or anything else? So... This is the thing I was the most excited about. I maybe just want to start like a rock farm on Farm Sim. So this is super cool. So we have fill type, probably gonna be rocks or something like that. Winter's coming. Oh, we're plowing some snow. We got a little bit better look at, or a little bit more look at the snow. Though I am gonna say this. We'll stop there. Oh, I thought I hit pause. Apparently not, just in time. Go back. The snow looks very, it looks like it's behaving very similar and I'm kind of disappointed to the way it behaves now with season. So I don't know. Maybe it'll be better, but we'll see. Big old Niner X is out to work. They're doing their thing. They're picking up my rocks. I love it. <laughs> I'm so pumped about that rock thing. Anyhow, by the way, if you do want to pre-order the game and you want to support the channel, um, if you pre-order using my code FarmerCop, there'll be a link down below in the description. It goes to help support the channel a ton, so I really would appreciate it. Um, I've been giving away two copies of Farming Simulator 22 a week uh, for since we've kind of known about it for a while. I do that in my live stream, so make sure you stay tuned. And it's actually, honestly, it's been more than two times a week because we do other giveaways as well. But uh, yeah, I've been giving away, I've given away like something like 20 or 30 copies of Farming Simulator 22 so far. So we've been giving away a lot of copies on this channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But anyhow, we saw that. Okay, that's fun. All fun and games. So we look over here at this bad boy and I'll pull this into here. Um, we look at this bad boy. Okay, new EU map. We know about all this on here. I don't think any of my information is anywhere, so it doesn't matter. But French map farming simulator revealed uh, is the third map in Farming Simulator 22 with Erlingrot and Elm Creek already announced. We kept this one secret until now, so you have guessed right. The last map will be, uh, will take you to France. Take a look. I love it. Gosh, I'm so pumped. So pumped about this game, guys. 
Uh, just like the other maps, the inspiration for Hot Berlin uh, came from various places in the country. It's not meant to resemble any one place in France, so you'll notice some influences from the regions of... I'm not going to try to pronounce them. From those ones, yep. Mediterranean charm of southern France. Uh, the topology, including an almost identical recreation of the river courses that run through that. Super cool. I hope there's boats you can move around. That would be kind of cool. There are a lot of special places, apart from beautiful hillside orchards and various selling points you deliver your goods on. Center of the map, you'll notice a castle... Uh, only one of the influence came from southern eastern uh, communes like uh, Cicerone. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, but they discover all of the map, like traditional gondolas floating in the rivers, uh, creating an idyllic scenery, or the observatory opening its dome sundown to align the telescope with the stars. That's super cool. Uh, look at that thing! There's even a catapult! <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's pretty designed. New crops introducing farming simulator, especially grapes and olives. Okay. Um, the rock guy! It's not based on a particular region of France. The, the mild Mediterranean climate of the map allows for... Oh, that's not the rock guy. Sorry, I just saw orange and I got excited. And then I started reading, so I ignored it. But it's fine. Uh, so the map allows for snowfall too. So expect your farm to cover in white because of season cycles. Uh, of course, you can turn snow off if you want to, creating experience that's represented in the most Mediterranean regions in southern France where snow is a bit rare. Uh, I'll show you more. Uh, tune in. And then pre-order now. Okay, very cool. Very cool. They also announced uh, this bad boy right here. Seasons pass, people. Seasons pass. More content. Get your seasons pass for Farming Simulator 22. Farming Simulator 22 will be the biggest game of the series to date when it launches on November 22nd, but we don't want, we won't be done adding new content with the release. So pleased with you with even more machines, tools, and other cool things in the future. It's available for pre-order now. If you want to extend your copy of the game, you might want to take a look at the seasons pass, especially since you can save mine compared to buying the content separately. So. Uh, let's look at this. For the first year one, a season's pass includes all planned content for the first year uh, after release of Simulator 22. Uh, that means three individual content packs with new machines. Very, very cool. Pack one, pack two in the expansion. Um, that is awesome. And it talks more about the gameplay trailer down here. So can you pre-order this? we will pre-order now. Let's see where it takes us. <laughs> Uh, season pass. There we go. Okay, thirty-seven ninety-nine for PC and Mac version. Uh, well, it looks like we got some more stuff to give away on the channel. Looks like we're gonna give away some season passes, folks. So anyhow, um, you know what? Let's do a giveaway on this video right here. If you guys comment down below, um, saying giveaway, I will choose a random comment within a week of this video posting. Well, probably within a week of this video posting. Um, and whoever gets chosen at random, I'll use a random con a random generator to figure out who's gonna win and everything like that. Um, I will give away a copy of. Um, the Seasons Pass for PC, if you would like. So if you want to get a copy of the Seasons Pass for PC, um, you can go and do that. Now, I am curious, can you use... If I was to hit pre-order here, I'm super curious. Haha! -ha, make sure you guys use the Farmer Cop code when you guys go to pre-order. Um, if you guys do want to do it and pre-order it, okay? So make sure you guys do that. But yeah, so anyhow, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give away a copy of this. So make sure you guys comment down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys do now. Make sure you drop a like down below if you haven't. Um, yeah, it was good to chat with you guys and kind of take a look at that new uh, setup that we have going on, the new map and everything like that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, once again, hit that like button down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen. Join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.